So creating these custom QR codes, these little QR codes that your GoPro Labs firmware picks up and scans into your camera is actually super simple. And today in this video, I'm gonna run you through one of three ways that you can go about creating these custom QR codes. If you guys are new to GoPro Labs, I highly recommend that you click up here in the cards to learn exactly what GoPro Labs is all about and how you can go about getting it set up on your either GoPro Hero 7 Black, GoPro Hero 8 Black, GoPro Hero 9 Black, or GoPro Max. Also joining me in today's video will be John Baharan and Andy Grison, who are gonna showcase and share some of their custom QR settings for both FPV drone flights and extra long time lapses. So let's get stuck into it. So creating these custom codes can be achieved by one of three ways. The first of which is via the GoPro Labs page on GitHub on your desktop. The second is via that same landing page on your mobile. And the third is by downloading the QR scanner app for your smartphone. To access GoPro Labs pages on GitHub, simply go to gopro.com forward slash labs. Now, you can do the exact same thing via your browser on your smartphone, or alternatively, you can also download the QR scanner app for your smartphone. Head to the app store and search QR control as one word. The following support app for GoPro Labs should come up. Click on it and begin downloading it to your smartphone. Once downloaded and open on your device, you'll be able to access all of your camera's control features, including Protune. Each change you make to any of the input fields will automatically update the displayed QR code. Once you're happy and you've gone through each of the input fields and selected all of your desired settings, you can name the QR code, download and save an image of the QR code to your camera roll, scan it into your GoPro and share it with your community. So now let's check out how John and Andy use these QR codes in the real world. Hello everyone, my name is John Verheron. I'm an FPV drone pilot and two-time GoPro Million Dollar Challenge winner. Some of my favorites are the 12 gigabyte chapters and the IMU motion triggers. IMU motion triggers allows me to show a code to the camera and when I take off, the camera starts recording. When I come back and land, it stops. Today I'll show you how to create a QR code if you have multiple cameras and you want the settings on one QR code or you wanna set up a couple different ones, but you just have to show the QR code to the camera and your settings are in there like that. So I'll set up this QR code for the settings I typically use, which is real steady stabilized 4K30. Those are my camera settings that I use. And now all you have to do is show this QR code to a GoPro with GoPro Labs firmware and all the settings change like that. I'm Andy Grison, two-time Million Dollar Challenge winner with GoPro, here today to show you how to shoot a long-form time-lapse with the GoPro Labs firmware and QR codes. I'm here in the beautiful Lake Tahoe area, just getting ready to shoot a nighttime time-lapse up against Diamond Peak here. So let's set it up and I'll show you how it's done. Put the QR code in front of the camera. Now let's look at how to generate the QR code for the long form time lapse. The assumption now is that you've already gone and installed the firmware on your camera. 
So we're going to go right on to create your code. Here we have a list of the different functions that are offered. We're going to focus on number four, create extra long time lapses. Click the link at the top. And now we've landed on this page dedicated to generating unique QR codes for the long form time lapse. You can move the slider for a set number of hours or a set number of days. I've found the best nighttime settings to be leaving the ISO max at 800, changing your white balance to something other than auto. In my case, I set it to 5,000 Kelvin. And then to experiment with the interval, the total duration of the time lapse, I shot with a 20 hour duration over a 12 hour overnight time lapse that produces a picture every three minutes. That allows the battery to last and also produces the best progression as possible through the time lapse itself. Also, turning off the front screen will help conserve battery as well. Keep that in mind. Best of luck out there. Thanks for watching. Guys, thank you so much for checking out today's video. If you're interested in any of the custom QR codes that you've seen, you can either just pause the video, you know, and put your GoPro up to the screen, or alternatively, I've created just a little PDF that's linked at the top link of the description. You can download that onto your smartphone and you can just input this in once you've got GoPro Labs set up on your GoPro. Whilst this video showcased some epic examples of how to create custom QR codes for extra long time lapses and multi-camera setups, remember to explore GitHub and check out all the other GoPro Labs customizable QR codes to install on your GoPro now. Thank you so much for sharing the stoke. Punch the thumbs up button if you've enjoyed today's video and I'll see you guys in the next upload. JR. Peace.